Welcome back to this Let's Play of the Prince of Persia, the Santa Time, now up to part 16. Um, now, recently, a friend of mine, Extra Music, who is also uh, a Let's Player as well, tagged me in one of his in his 300 uh, video. Uh, if you've never heard of tagging, what it basically means is that you... Oh, I'm going to run quickly here. It means that you have to post five facts about yourself within your video and then tag someone else. So in a minute, I'll get on to posting... Uh, posting? Saying some facts about myself. Just in a minute. This part here, I'm just getting into, is, if you remember from last time I said it's probably the most heavy platforming, well not the most, but it's one of the most fun parts, because so, the platforming here is, gets to be quite testing, because there's lots of bits where you, there'll be lots of broken bridges and uh, things you have to climb onto which will break shortly after, so it gets a little bit intense, in, sort of, in a way. Um, it's not much fighting, because it's just mostly bats and scabs. I don't really consider them proper fights. The proper fights are ones where to get back sands with you know with the uh, possessed people. But anyway, on to facts about me. The first fact. Oh, okay. stupid bats. Fact number one. I work for the government. Oh, that's right. I'm a government worker. So you've been pirating stuff. I'm going to track you down and have your family killed. Now, um, I work in Bournemouth Borough Council, so my local uh, district council, and. I'm there as a modern apprentice for IT, so I help with computers and stuff, fix computers, and hopefully when I'm done there, I'll be walking out with a level 3 NVQ in IT. I can go on to do some university courses. Uh, working there's alright, it's not always really busy. I'm not, I mean, last Friday we just had, Bank Holiday Friday, but the the afternoon people were just flicking rubber bands at each other, weren't doing any work at all really. It was kind of fun. It was also good because I had completely caught up with work and nothing to do. Literally. Okay, uh, point number two. My favourite movie, as of making this video, is a Chinese martial arts film called Hero. Uh, you probably haven't heard of it. It was, uh, wasn't made by, but it was advertised by Quentin Tarantino when it was coming out here, because he really liked it. And it's just a Chinese martial arts film about this guy, who has no name, called Nameless, on his mission to uh, kill the king of, I think his name was Quinn, the, the, the name of the land he's the king of, and uh, he has to tell the story of, to this king, of how he managed to kill these assassins who are a threat to that kingdom, and it just goes on from there. The, the martial arts in it, it's a little bit waifu, but it's really good, the use of colour, the music, so many great parts about it, and probably not a lot of people are going to see it, just because of the fact it's Chinese, but if you're, if you're fine with subtitles, it's a really, really good film, in my opinion. Let's get a sand cloud here. Yay! I think there's a health upgrade hiding around here. To turn the volume up a little bit, you probably can't hear it very well. You. Okay, fact number three. Oh, hang on, small bats. My favourite game ever. It's a game for the PS2 known as Disgaea, or Disgaea, Hour of Darkness. It's official, it's really cool, Disgaea. I can't help but call it Disgaea, it's a bad habit I've picked up. Um, it's a strategy RPG, and the reason I like it so much is just because of all the kick assness that goes on in it. You know, just, it's, um, I'm just trying to think of how to explain it. Um, what, are you, what are you doing around there? Because the strategy involved is quite good. You've got different classes. There's loads. They've made the people who made it, Koei. They've made lots of other games similar to it, like Makai Kingdom and uh, La Puel Tactics. I'm not sure if I said that right. Is there a thingy around here? I'm pretty sure there was. No. Okay, let's keep going forward then. And yeah, um, all you know, all the, all the characters have these special attacks which you can use in fights, and it just it's just really stylish. It looks great, and you really feel like you're. When you're when you're on a roll, it really feels like you're absolutely stomping on your enemy. And it's just very satisfying, and that's my favourite game. It is actually being ported to the PSP, and it's getting a, oh, a DS port soon as well. So if you haven't played it, you still got a good chance to play a newish version. So it's a game well worth checking out, but only if you've got tons of time to waste, because it will steal 
if you enjoy it a lot of your time. I've invested way over 250 hours on my copy, and I'm still not done with it. I'm pretty much on a break from it at the moment. It's also partially because I haven't got a PS2 set up anymore. I've got one, but I don't use it. Uh, fact number four. My username. I kind of decided to run out of subjects at this point and just stole one from Extra Music. Original Dude Boy. I will actually, it's normally I go by Dude Boy, uh, preferably with an L bracket on either side and a space. So it'd be L space Dude Boy space L. But um, sometimes you just come to a website and Dude Boys have been taken. It's surprisingly popular. So as a backup, I'll normally go with Original Dude Boy. It's uh, <laughs> I, I'm not. I'm probably not the original Dude Boy, but it's just I can't think of what else to put in front of it, and I just stick with that. It's a bit, it's a bit pretentious, but oh well. Um, but Dude Boy, the name is the name Dude Boy came from around year 2004 when I used to use an account, my first ever internet account on in anything on Game FAQs, was called um, what's it called? Oh no, nope, swing forward. How do I do swing? Oh this. I went for I went, my original account on anything ever was Dude nine six five three seven one zero because I wanted to have Dude in it, but I <coughs> but I couldn't use the name just Dude. Because that'd be taken. So I just went all numbers from ten backwards. So nine, all the odd numbers from ten backwards. So nine seven six five three two one zero. One day someone called me Dude Boy, and that kind of stuck. So I went with that, and that's how I got my username. Nice. Just take a look at this. See what's coming up in the next part. Right, lastly, for my final fact, I'll try to fit in very quickly. I once, I've started to run out of, I really ran out of ideas at this point. I once got shot in the eye, I shall save there. I once got shot Done. in the eye at point I'll blank range with a BB gun. Uh, it was a very powerful one, too. It, oh, God, I couldn't see out my eye literally for about three or four hours. I couldn't keep it open, it was so much pain. It, it was watering as well. And. About a day later, I couldn't keep it open in bright light because it just hurt so much. And I went to the doctor's, and it turns out the BB pellet had actually dented my eyeball, and I had to take medication to help my eye shape itself, which sounds ridiculous. And it also gave me some uh, fluid to dilate my eye, uh, my pupil, which made it more comfortable. And it was it was true, it did make it more comfortable. And it went away about after a week, and it was just horrible. You know, the actual point when I got hit was painful. This was about four years ago or five years ago, and I was just a teenager having fun with guns and I do kind of regret it in a way but I've still got a BB gun in the back of the closet somewhere because it's just fun anyway that's my five facts I haven't done anything in a while because I can't just miles away to the next save point so that's whoops that's it for this part thanks for watching I'll see you guys next time for part 17